Quarantine rules hurting school attendance will change for Ludlow students tomorrow. Administrators started a program that involves on campus testing and rapid results. So reliable close contacts may not miss a day in class if they're not sick. Reporter Larry Seward is live near that campus where parents are curious about what happens next. Larry, what is the plan? Well, Kristen, first this letter explaining that students exposed to COVID-19 can get around the quarantine stay at home seven to 10 days requirement by letting staff here on campus test the kids, but its debut for some is overdue. He was not happy. Twice last basketball season quarantine rules kept Kelly Geyser's youngest son Adam away from Ludlow High School and teammates, even though he had no symptoms and no positive coronavirus test. When when he's not playing, he's not happy. He misses his friends, you know, even though they play on their online games and stuff and talk to their friends, it's still not that one on one interaction. Four weeks into a new school year is dominating what we're doing here at school. This former principal in charge of teaching and learning district wide is ordering four machines to speed up COVID-19 test result turnaround time. While the number of confirmed cases is small, rules keeping close contacts home seven days minimum is hurting student performance and it's more than academics. Students struggling with social interactions and social cues and peer interactions uh, that we haven't seen before. They haven't tailed off and declined, but what they have is usually there's a trajectory of where students should be. And what we've seen is that they're not hitting their trajectory targets of where they should be. It's hardly a Ludlow problem. We thought for sure this was behind us and then we get hit with this variant, uh, the Delta variant. In Ohio, districts as far north as Youngstown are changing rules too. Eight days into school, Poland Superintendent Craig Hockenberry told us 19 confirmed COVID-19 cases among students forced 141 healthy kids with no symptoms to miss 10 days, which led to mask mandates on all campuses to make contact tracing easier. It's taken up all the administrators' time. So instead of leading and working on innovative ideas with instruction and, and working with kids, we're spending all of our time making, you know, uh, walking around, making sure kids aren't uh, too close to others and then calling their parents and having them come get them. Based on guidance from Northern Kentucky Health, Ludlow's new test and stay policy lets parents sign off on daily antigen testing for seven days for any student exposed to COVID-19 on campus. Parents can bring results or let staff do the testing. Day one and five also demand PCR testing to ensure accurate results. As long as kids test negative, they can go to class immediately and never miss a day. Administrators hope it keeps more students where they belong. The biggest impact on quarantines here on campus has been on the athletics. Teams have missed games and depending on what the legislature does down in Frankfurt this week, it could help or hurt those efforts. We'll have more on that coming up tonight at six. We're live in Ledlow, Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.